Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to Food Street. Now I'm going to be showing you something called glitching in this video. Now this technique is really useful. It allows you to actually blend decoration together allowing you to create a lot of wonderful designs. It also allows you to save a lot of space. Now, at the moment, I'm using a design where I'm using the floor to create uh, something that relates to the current theme. Now, over here, you'll see I've got some trees and bushes, I've got some tables, and I've got a few machines. But if you notice from looking at my restaurant, many of the machines and the trees and the tables I've actually got are not there because I'm actually using something called glitching. Now, glitching is okay. It's something that the games company is aware of. They like it. They hope that we can create more designs and they're looking to develop the game by not removing this option, but by giving us the ability to be able to do more because they think it's a wonderful direction that came out accidentally. And as a result of this, there's been some wonderful designs for this game within the community. And it's something that many of us actually enjoy doing. Now, if we look over here, you'll see that I've actually got a barrel and there are many machines all mixed in. And there's a few other machines here as well. Over here, same situation. I've got a piano with some of the tables and I've actually got a fountain with some of the trees and bushes. Now, the reason I'm using those items there mixed in is because it allows me to glitch in. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the machines now. Now, if I take away this bread here, put that into storage, you'll see I've got a few machines left over. So in total, there's five machines there. That means all of my other machines that I do have within the game, all of these other stoves are all located in that one location. And that's pretty cool, actually. So let's show you what to do. Now, I've got my main design here. Now, if I click on the paintbrush down in the bottom left hand corner, brings up the edit mode option. You can move over to the left hand sorry, the right hand side and you'll see a little building. Now, clicking on that brings up your three layouts. Now, I click on the one that's active. I then click on the copy button and I copy that one into the third layout and I say yes. I then go into the third layout and I press the edit button. Now that then brings up this edit option. Now I'm actually using the barrel there in the center. So I'm going to click that barrel. And I'm going to put that back into storage by saying store that item and we say yes. Now what I'm going to do is to go back into the storage where the barrel is located. I'm going to slide down and find that same barrel. So we find the barrel as such and it should be a little bit further down here. Once I found it, almost there. And there we go. I'm going to place it back in the same location it just came from. But I'm not going to press any of the circular buttons. I'm going to ignore that one. I press the X down in the bottom left hand corner, which closes off this menu, bringing it back to the restaurant layout. I click on the active one and then I click uh, the X button. You'll see then that the barrel is now gone because it's actually in limbo. I then click on the paintbrush again and I move one of the machines over into that space and you notice that the green tick mark is there. Really important. If there's no green tick mark it didn't work. I press the green tick mark. That's now placed that machine there. I click the edit button again in the bottom right hand corner. I then click active. I press the copy button. I go back to the one that's the third layout. I press yes again. I click on that third layout, I go into edit mode, the barrel is now back. I click on the barrel again, put that back into storage. Come back into storage, I click on the actual storage items and I slide down to find the barrel again. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, almost there. I bring that back out and place it in the same location again. Click the X in the bottom left hand corner, go back to the main menu. It's actually gone again. I press the paintbrush. I then take the next machine, slide that into the same location, press the green tick mark, go back into the right hand corner, press the building, press the active, press copy, go into main, say yes there, which is the third option. Edit that one. Okay, take the back barrel back out again, put that back into storage, and it's a continuous cycle until all the machines have been placed. So let's just keep doing this and doing this and doing this, and I'll show you all the way to the end. There's only five machines. Right, we're almost there again, and we bring that one down. We don't place it into there. We click the X button, go back to the main one, then press that button again, take the machine, slide that one over, press the green tick mark. It's now located there as well. 
press that again, press active, press copy, press the third one, press yes, go into the third one, edit that one. All right, take the barrel back out one more time. Now, the reason I'm actually not ticking the barrel to close it down because it actually puts it in a bit of a limbo situation. So the decoration is still there. It's just stuck between the edit modes because you've not actually given it permission to place itself. Now, that's very, very important. Do not place it down. The process is really simple. If I press it and place it down, I've got to start all again, which is okay. I just then copy. Uh, so I go into that layout there one more time. And I just start it all again. Let's place that one there as well. So I just do it again. If I make a mistake, I press copy and copy that one. Go into the main layout there. Say yes. Click on that one. Edit that one. Take the barrel back out. And we are almost done. Yay, I like this one. Right, we come down again, and then we find this, 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 this. Oh, not that button there. Click that one, no mistake. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't worry, everything is still good. Sometimes that happens. Right, find the barrel again. Bring that barrel back down there. Don't press the tick mark. Close that one off. Come into the main one again. All right, click the decoration and then place that machine there. Look, all of the machines are now gone. Wonderful, isn't it? So now all of those machines are in the one location, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to place that one over there. And then we go back into this one again. And then we edit it. And let's see if we can stick anything else into that location. So I've got uh, some other items there that can be do with putting away. But before I do that, I want to do something more. More wonderful so I'm going to put that one back into storage again and you'll see why in a moment right take that one take that one take that one slide on down again and it's not just the machines I can place into there there's other decoration as well so we place that one into position there and we close that one off we come back to the main and it's gone again so all of my machines are now located there so I want to get rid of some of the other decoration that's kind of like in my way so I'm going to take this one as well I'm going to place that over there in the same place it's now gone copy that one again and I go back in copy that place that one down there yes and oh my goodness me this is so easy isn't it right we take the barrel back out again put that back into storage and we say yes come back down there as well and then we find the barrel <laughs> this is a barrel of laughs ha <laughs> that was a funny joke actually that wasn't funny okay we do this again and again and again and again and again and then we bring the barrel back down again don't press the tick mark close that one out come into the main one there and we can then bring this one over in as well it doesn't matter if it's not the full size it's not really much of a bother but uh, I'm placing that down there as well which is super cool what I can also do as well is start putting some other decoration around this in a moment but you'll see that in a second we go back into the edit mode we copy that one back into the main layout and then we say yes on that as well click back down there again go on the edit and look at that doesn't that look wonderful now clicking on the barrel again put that back into storage and I think I'm going to hide some of my animals as well and maybe some of my other decoration there hmm this could be fun okay come back down again find it find it find it find it find it right now what I'm actually not going to do I'm not going to place the animals in the one location I'm going to leave that for a little bit of a difference later now the question is if I place all of my machines into the one place how do I actually like load up the machines well that's where you use the edit mode again and you actually have like your second layout in the middle for all of your machines placed out it's just the ones with your design where everything is located there and that's very very important now what I'm going to do here is to actually get some of the wall decoration and I want to bring some of these wall pieces down and around so as an example let's just say I want to be very very creative here 
so I could place a wall piece down there it could be looking very very nice indeed you know, place another wall piece down there as well another one down there come around there to the side as well place that one there that one there that one there that one there for the moment okay leave that as it is bring over this little house there as well okay now I can actually place the house there if I wanted to like so that's placing it over the design which is okay in itself okay it's not going to be a problem for me at the moment so I'm going to say yes on that one now uh, what do I do do I actually leave the house there I wonder or do I say no forget that one push that off to the side and then continue with the wall pieces now if I do the wall pieces I could do this as well so what's this um, I, I could hide those there and then create a kind of a building style approach as well so there's so many options there that I could do I could put them in and get rid of them and then they are gone now for the wall piece itself what I want to do is to place that one down there now you see I can't at the moment because it says that the tick is grey so to do that one what I would need to do is to take away these pieces in here that are blocking that pattern we take away those pieces there get rid of them right so create my little hole that I want to do no not that one that one take away that one take away and that one take away and then that one take away let's see how that looks now will that be better for me yes it is and I like the look of that one but I want to bring it forward a little bit so hmm should I do it no I think but leave that one later I've made a mistake okay so I'm gonna say fine on that one right we're gonna say copy that mode back into the layout again we say yes we go into that one we edit it uh, you'll see that the barrel is still there which is fine okay the it's not broken so I just put that back into storage I bring the barrel back down on this one again and I can still keep playing yay do 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 we do the barrel we do the barrel we do the barrel and getting closer 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 where's the barrel gone there we go bring the barrel back down take that out of the way go back into the main one bring up uh, come on edit mode bring that design down to there okay that's green tick we can place that one down there which is wonderful i like that indeed that looks pretty good doesn't it maybe i could do something like that with that design hmm need to think about that one yeah okay but yes you can see the idea you can hide the pieces you can get rid of them you can change the design around if you wanted to in any way uh, the choice is yours on how you want to go about doing it i'm going to place that one down there and you'll see what i mean in a moment when i do something really crazy with this one we go back into design we've got that one there we copy the layout put it into there we say yes and we go into that one and edit a game and now i'm going to actually take that one out for the moment place that into storage and let's try something a little different we then go back into storage we bring that one out place that over the spot where it was and let's see if this actually works as well we go back into my main one and it's now gone we go into the edit mode there we find the wall pieces so we put the wall pieces there one two three four mm. Oh, it's not going to let me do that one. Oh, well, looks like I messed up on the design. I've got a little bit more work to do, I think. Oh, dear. No worries, no worries. I tried anyway, but it's okay. You'll see what I'm about to do here. So I've covered up the pieces there. Now I'm going to go back over here again. I'm going to say copy that one into that one there. And then we go, go back into the main one and edit that layout. Oh, yeah, doesn't that look good? I've got a bit of a roof there now. Oh, I like that one indeed. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. In fact, let me come back out of that. I think that's good enough for you to see. All right, we just take that one piece that's there. Look at that. That's a nice little design, isn't it? My building's got a roof and I want to be more creative there. Maybe I should add in some doors and windows there as well. How about nice little scrolly doors there? Look at that. Water doors, water doors, water doors. Hmm. Could be interesting. Maybe I might want to change the wall pieces on that one again and put in some windows. Windows could be nice. Place some windows down there on the side as well. There we go. Nice little bit of window on the side there as well. Got myself a brand new building there that's rather interesting as well. Yay. Hmm. 
I like it, I like it. Now all of my machines are gone, and if I look there, you'll see that everyone has been replaced and moved out of the way, and they're all tucked in there. Now the question is, how do you service those machines? So, I could actually click on the orders like this, I suppose, and the click it takes me to the building and brings it up that way, so you've still got the quick option. But like I said, the best thing to do is to go into another layout where you have all of the machines laid out. You work here and you have your design here. Right, there you go everybody, that's glitching. You do the same thing with the trees and the bushes and the tables, you can put everything out the way and then you've got this whole area for designing and being more creative. Give it a go, the edit mode is a lot of fun and I like it, glitching is fantastic. Every single machine is now in the one location, why not try your own hand at glitching? And be creative, there are some very, very good designs out there in the world. Check out the Facebook groups, you'll see what I mean. But either way, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Let me know what you think about the glitching trust me it is totally acceptable for this game the games company likes it and i will always tell you guys about it as well if you've got any questions you can always ask them directly but i've actually been there as well and spoken to the staff and they like the glitching design so be creative see you now